Oh, hey, I'm Richard Holder. I'm at West Tech Performance, but I'm on my way to my favorite place. Not that I don't like West Tech Performance because it's awesome and I get to do dyno testing, but I'm headed over to the junkyard. I'm gonna do some window shopping. It's one of my favorite places. I love walking through the aisles, looking at all the motors. They all wanna come home with me, but unfortunately I don't have room nor do I have the money to grab all the motors that I need. But let's head over there and find out what they have. And this time I'm gonna ask the following question. Cool or not cool? What do I mean? Let's find out. Okay, let's play a game. Cool or not cool? 76 Lincoln Continental. Four barrel with a 460. So I'm here at the wrecking yard. 72 Ranchero. Obviously has a Cleveland in it. Pretty, pretty ratty though. But Clevelands are cool. Do you ever see these out in the wild? Don't try to pick them up. They're very, very heavy. So the very rare 1969 240Z. Yeah, maybe not so much a 69 240Z, maybe a 71. 1973 AMX. Two barrel, but Still, you know, rebuildable one. Tags as a 304. A hot rod Lincoln. I do like the Grammys. This one's got the six cylinder in it. Good candidate for an LS swap. Free slant six guys. There you go. So you've got the blue valve cover. <laughs> Is it a Super 6? Got a 66 Chrysler Imperial. So guys, let me know what motor is this going to be. Is it going to be a 440? Is it going to be a 383? Is it a 400? Let me know what you think. 74 Pontiac Catalina. Pontiac motor, cool already by itself. But Got a two jet. It looks like it's been rebuilt too. That might be a good one to snag. Let me know Pontiac guys. Is it a big block or a small block? Yeah. Slant six is as far as the eye can see. It's probably my first LS. 706 heads. Got the dual snorkel on the Ford. They can only mean one thing. Big block. No shortage of Magnums with the kegger. The keggerator. Another LS, 862s. If you want to make your own 462 valve manifold, like a custom one, this is the easiest one to start with. All you have to do is cut those off. You got your ejector positions, you got a rail that'll work, and then you can make some super richy adjustable intakes. Another 862 LS. Got some Hemi stuff. Got a Ram with an extra axle. More 862s, more LSs. Get side by side LSs. <laughs> Both 862 headed deals. So either a 48 or a 53. Okay, finally, here's something that's cool 04 Silverado LS, obviously. 317 heads. Quick, what does that tell us? What motor is this? Yep, it is a 6 liter. I really don't know what this is doing over here with all the trucks, but Subaru, top mountain intercooler. Some of my favorite stuff is the vans. Dodge, I think it's an LA motor. 360 or 318 probably. 
There we go. I always like seeing these. V10. Boosts everywhere, intercores just laying around on the ground. Okay guys, got an 04 Denali. Got an LS in it. Has 317s on it. So let me know. Is this going to be an LQ4 or an LQ9? So that's two six liters I found today. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Pretty cool. And one of them even had the transmission already off, just ready to come out. Ford F-250. Chock full of turbo -y goodness. Man, O2 Escalade. LS, guess what heads it has on it? 317s, another six liter. That's three six liters in one day. That's a record for me. More Dodge slanty goodness. Another 5.3. Okay guys, cool or not cool? 1986 Ford Ranger with a 2.3 liter four cylinder. You know, an SVO turbo motor. Well, kind of. Look guys, today the wrecking yard is lousy with six liters. This one is even out of the vehicle already. Just sitting here, 317 heads. Come on down, get your six liters. They're giving away over here. What are you even doing here, man? You don't got no 317s, 862s. Get out of here. Okay guys, cool or not cool? 2005 Odyssey. This has got to be a J series, right? What do you guys think? Yes? No? Cool? Not cool? Let me know. VTEC! Okay guys, we've got a 2007 Tahoe with an LS in it, obviously. It has the Trailblazer SS style intake manifold on it. It has 799 heads. I'm going to go ahead and put the VIN up here. You guys tell me, based on the digit on the VIN, what motor does this thing have in it? Now the Thunderbird, this one's a 74. Lots of these big blocks. This one's got a 460 in her. Okay. Get this should be an easy one. No, a Dram. This is the second one that I've seen. Okay guys, the sticker says it's a 4.8. It's got cool 243 heads. So I think if it's a 4.8 and it has 243 heads, we know that it's on an aluminum motor. But still, 243 headed. Pretty cool. Okay guys, cool or not cool, 2001 Acura. 3.2 liter VTEC V6. J series. Let me know. Okay guys, cool or not cool, 2006 Dodge Charger with, yep, that thing's got a Hemi and it has one of my favorite Hemi intake manifolds, at least for these early ones. I call it the Magnum. Okay guys, what do you think about our cool <laughs> or not cool walking around the wrecking yard? Always my favorite place. I just love walking the aisles. I see so much cool stuff, but nothing like I saw on this particular ship. Before we get going on that, what would you rather have? Let's say you're going to uh, look for an LS in the wrecking yard and you're going to do a cam in Springs, like you're going to put a Truck Norris cam in it or a Hot Rod cam or the Red Hot cam, or maybe go all in like we did on the L33 and go with the big, like nasty stage four LS3 cam with all of the RPM and a short runner intake manifold and you're just going to go crazy. Which one of the LS motors that I found would you pick? Would you pick the little 243 headed 4.8 liter. We know the 4.0 great, they work well. Or the 799 headed 5.3 liter. That might be an aluminum motor. Let me know in the comments. Did you look at the digit on that? But how awesome was it to find four different 
six liter LS motors. I have never run across that in all of my adventures to the to the junkyards, and I've been there many, many, many times. That's a lot of many's. I've never seen more than one six liter LS, but seeing four of them in one day was fantastic. I just wish I could have grabbed all of them. I just don't have the resources nor the room for four more six liter engines as much as I wanted to grab them, which was very much. But four six liters was awesome, but that wasn't the end of the day. We also saw lots of other cool stuff. I saw a V10 6.8 liter Ford. I saw a V10 8 liter Dodge. Saw lots of the J series Hondas. Saw a Subaru with the intercooler sitting up there. Saw an intercooler on the ground. One of the LSs was on the ground. There were lots and lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool things over in the vintage area, like that, that station wagon, which was awesome. In fact, I stopped to talk to a guy there when we were looking at the station wagon. He's like, man, the station wagon should not be here. This thing should be out on the road. I said, I know. I, I was wondering if it was a 400. He goes, oh, yeah, I need to check that. And he was excited as I was, which is good to see that in the wrecking yard. But <laughs> wrecking yard trips are awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Armature Older, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all that stuff. More videos coming up.